Today, we are going to be discussing the effects of divorce on both adults, children and teenagers across the globe. I'm Gabrielle. I'm Leah. And I'm Hannah. For young children, divorce shakes trust in dependency on parents who now behave in an extremely undependable way. The divorce rate is expressed by the number of divorces per 1,000 people. USA 4, Japan 2.2, Germany 2.4, France 1.9, Italy 0.7, UK 2.6 and Sweden 2.4. Divorce affects adolescents in many ways. When and being they tend to deal more aggressively with divorce, often reacting mad, rebellious and more resolved to family discipline and take care of themselves more often. Divorce introduces a massive change in the life of people no matter what age. Adjusting to going back and forth between two different households and the daily absence of one parent whilst being with another will create challenging new family circumstances in which to live. Children rely on wishful thinking to help allay the pain of loss, holding on to hope for a parental reunion much longer than adolescents. Divorce tends to intensify the child's dependence and it tends to accelerate independence. It often elicits a more regressive response in the child and a more aggressive response in adolescence. There can be separation anxiety issues, crying at bed, breaking toilet training, bedwetting, clinging, whining, tantrums and temporary loss of established self-care skills. Divorce counselling for children can be beneficial when they get lower school grades than before the divorce had taken place, when they are stressed or when they become angry more often without a clear cause. Infants do not understand what is happening when parents divorce. The changes in the parents' emotions and energy levels reflect them negatively. Children living with both parents, one after the other, tends to be healthier than children of divorce living with the same parent. Pre-adolescents know what divorce is. The greater sense of self-awareness amplifies the pain because they lack coping skills. For teens, a divorce can be stressful due to the many changes for their daily life. They fear the future. They need solid parental support when they reach adulthood. Divorced people are more vulnerable to ma- for mental illness, heart disease, cancer, diabetes and other chronic conditions. This is probably due to higher stress levels and trauma. In America, there's one divorce approximately every 36 seconds. That's nearly 2,400 divorces every day, 16,800 divorces per week, and 876,000 divorces a year. The average length of a marriage that ends in divorce is eight years. Divorce can be fault-based or no fault-based. Fault-based is when one of the partners did something that is a reason to break up a marriage. For example, abuse. In a non-fault divorce, no one is to blame. Both partners agree to end the marriage. In some countries, no-fault divorces are not allowed. When two people divorce, their mutual assets and liabilities must be divided. Properties and savings, but also loans and other liabilities, must be split. Custody is the legal right and the responsibility to take the most important decisions for a child about education, medical care and insurance, and the place of living. The custodial parent does not have to be the parent with whom the child is living. Parents can share child custody. This is called shared custody or joint custody. Most people marry again in three years after the divorce. More and more children are living with one of the parents only. We hope this report has helped you to have a bigger insight in what children go through during divorce and separation. We also hope this gave you an insight in what struggles parents go through during divorce. It can be hard times, but with support, everyone can get through it. Thank Thank you you for for listening. listening.